Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we were in uh, the Rocket Hideout. We did a bunch of stuff. And in this part, we're going to the Pokemart. For two reasons. Uh, we're, we're here for two reasons. First of all, this person... Oh wait, no, this person sells CMs. Although I will sell. I also uh, put a bunch of my items in the box. But I'm going to sell the Nugget, because I'm not going to need the Nugget, am I? Does this person sell it? Nope. It's the next floor. Ugh. I kind of weighed the options, and I basically, uh, I basically, um, there's like no one on this floor. This, this floor, there's nothing. Um, I, yeah, so I weighed up my options, and I basically thought to myself, you know, the only thing that, the only move that you will miss out on for evolving your EV early is Bite. Now, Bite does a fair amount of damage. It does 60, it has 60 power, and it's actually a pretty strong move when you compare it to a lot of the other, a lot of its evolutions movesets. However, I ultimately decided that, that if I missed out on getting Bite, if I, if I don't evolve and I go for Bite, I miss out on the move Thundershock. And Thundershock, with the stab, when I evolve, is basically going to do the same amount of damage, and I feel like that would be a better option than to just stick with, uh, Bite. So, we're evolving Eevee, using a Thunderstone. Into a Jolteon! Jolteon is, um... Now, there's three evolutions for uh, Eevee. Uh, you can evolve it into either a... Uh, you can evolve it into either a uh, Jolteon, which is an electric type, a Vaporeon, which is a water type, or a... Um, or a Flareon, which is a fire type. Jolt... Uh, sorry, um, they all have the same general stats. They all have the same defense, and they all have the same special stats. The difference is... Vaporeon has a much higher attack, uh, HP, uh, Flareon has a much higher attack, and Vape and Jolteon has a much higher speed. Uh, Jolteon is actually the second fastest Pokemon in the game behind, uh, behind, um, Electrode. <laughs> Both of which are electric types, so I guess, you know. Um, however, I ultimately went with Jolteon mainly because mainly because I there are plenty of great water type Pokemon in the game. I'm actually gonna stick with uh well I'm not gonna say it right now, but there there's lots. You got Gyarados, you got Cloyster, you got um like Blastoise even. And for fire types I'm not too big on the fire types. You can work around with the fire types. because uh, the problem is they have high attack and then the fire type attacks use their special stat. Granted Flareon's a really good choice. Their special stat is on 110, which is very high for regular uh, Pokemon. Uh, however, you know, I'm also I'm basically deciding that um, that I would need speed mainly because I don't really have a speedy Pokemon on my team. Uh, speed is great because it'll increase your evasiveness, uh, and also if it's a high critical chance move, then basically 100% critical chances, but it'll increase your critical chance for everything, basically. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, it also means you go first in battle, which means that for, if you're high leveled, you'll always get the first hit, and then you'll always basically defeat your opponent before they can even attack you, which is very nice. Um, if you're, if you're a bit of an amateur in Pokemon, you may not realize the importance of speed, but it ends up being probably a big deciding factor in terms of a battle. I mean, you will need good attack and stuff in order to even out the playing field. Uh, by the way, this is a lift. You need a key, though. I went all the way here just to need a key. That's great. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to clear the rocket hideout today. Um... Now, there are two more hidden items, and I would like to get those hidden items, one of which is on the third floor, uh, third basement floor, that is. Um, there are four floors in this place, so, but we've basically cleared out the, the first two. Um, I also, I think I still have Grabo up front, because I do need, I do need to level up Grabo the most. However, because, uh, because, uh, uh, Speed V is now, 
uh, Jolteon. Speed V is going to be very strong. I mean, they have a total base stat of 430, which is not the highest, but it's very high, especially for now. Considering a lot of... Uh, I'm, ju I'm just going to look it up now. Some of the highest Pokemon... Uh, like, like, if you're playing later games, the highest base stats would probably be around the 600 and somethings, but that's because of the two special stats. Uh, so yeah. Uh... Well, I can't seem to t sort it by total anymore. Or anything anymore. Well, that's great. Well, anyway, Grabber's level 22. Uh... And they're using Machop. It's a little bit ill with Machop, but hey, I mean, I, I'm okay with Machops. Busting Machops. By the way, there is only one trainer on the second floor, uh, the second basement floor. There's only two trainers on this floor as well. Uh, I think I am missing one of the trainers on the first floor, but other than that, like that, that leaves. Trainer here, trainer on the top floor, and then there's only four trainers on the bottom. So we should be able to get this done kind of soon. Uh, anyway, the hidden item, I believe, is going to be... Uh, somewhere in... There you go, there's a nugget, yeah! <laughs> Knew it. Uh, TM10, by the way, is double edge. It's basically, uh, you know, when uh, last part I was talking about struggle, it's basically a very strong version of that. Uh, it still hurts you though, but hey, I I recommend it. It's actually kind of nice. Uh, if you've got a lot of HP, those moves are actually very good because they deal a set amount of damage. Uh, or so they deal um, physical damage technically. So if you've got high defense or a lot of HP that work that can work very well in your favor. Uh, we do have to go around this quite a bit though. Uh, but thankfully, we can also get another item. This is a rare candy. We all know what a rare candy does. Um, how do I get out of it? Oh, I gotta go around and stuff. I do like uh, this floor in particular. I do like I do like some of these puzzles, and I wish they used them more. Granted, they do use them in the 8th gym. Spoilers, but yes, the 8th gym uses this as a puzzle. Uh, I need to go on this one, because the other ones are going to chuck me up. Uh, here's the other trainer. <laughs> so yeah, um... Yeah. Other than that, oops. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. So, um, in later games, I don't think you can buy Pokemon through the game corner. I think it's a bit of an interesting aspect. Uh, especially because it says, gotta catch them all. We got Eevee just by picking it up from someone. We got Magikarp by buying it. We got Pinsa by buying it. We got Dratini by buying it. I could have gotten Abra if I bought it if all I wanted. Uh, Rattata, I think I'm good. I need, I need to do get... Oh, sorry, it's Eradicate. Oh, gosh. Um, I think Rabo's fine. Rabo's still got the good defense. Okay. Oh, I flinched! Flinching happens with some attacks, but it basically means you can't attack for that turn. It's a, it's a chance that some attacks will flinch you. Bite is one of them. I, I am choosing not to use Bite, though. Um, Moopy! I can't, I can't believe I called him Moopy. It's just like, what kind of name is that? Oh, of course it's a crit. Of course it's a critical. Well, we get to see Speed V in action. You know, I, I've only even fought like two people. This is the second guy I've fought, and it's just like all oh, my Pokemon are like dead. Uh, Speed V, however, will not get any electric type attacks until the next level. That's why I was a little bit like, ooh, I better, I, I really should evolve him now, because he gets Thundershock when he levels up to level 27. Also, he's so fast! So when he uses Tail Web, it's just like... Even though I seem to miss a lot, I'll tell you that. Tackle is a bit of a weak attack, uh, though. I would like to get rid of it. LOLS! Your sleep made you pound me once, but that was about it. I shouldn't say lol. I, I hate saying it out loud. 
but like it irritates me like everyone else where it's like why are you using a different term to, to laugh when you can just laugh anyway so we did that this calls for a heal up let me tell you that um yeah basically I'm gonna heal and I will be back I haven't been talking, have I? <laughs> anyway, so now we're gonna head downstairs. We're on the bottom floor now. Uh, now there is a hidden item. I believe we can't get it right now. Oh. Who has the lift key? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is a classic one. This is a classic, why does the game do this? A classic why. Anyway, vice grip! Because I really have another option. Don't get poison. Actually, is that super effective? That, that is super effective and it barely does anything. Grabo, I love ya! I love ya, Grabo! Look, look at that, seriously. Oh, they accept he's poisoned, of course. The worst part about it, the fact that he's poisoned means that I just can't use him afterwards. You know, that only happened with smog. I never got poisoned with poison sink. Or acid for that. Oh, I think I did get poisoned with acid. Zubat's never poisoned me. Vice grip! Ugh. So yeah, and the reason- The main reason why I'm going to need level ups is because my attack is, is kind of low. And also I need attacks. No, don't hit yourself. So yeah. Except I'm bug type, you fool! Yeah, I'm bug life. Bug life? Bug type. Bug life is a different movie. Well, Grabo's clearly gonna die, so... Nice knowing you, Grabo. No! So yeah. Hopefully it'll be a bit better if we're just finding like, regular trainers. Uh, Speed V, no, we'll, we'll send out Moopy. Send out Moopy. So thankfully this area has no wild Pokemon, but it is kind of annoying. I got a lot of eradicates and stuff. TMO2! TMO2 is Razor Wind! I don't really know what Razor Wind does, and now I will look it up while I'm walking because I don't want to hold you guys up. Um, I guess we'll head down here. Hey, look! It's a HP up! There's a lot of these HP ups. Now, the big question is we have to find a way. Wait, what? I thought you could keep going if you were at the bottom. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Grabo, no! No, I'm okay with that. Okay, so let's see. So we got that staircase here. Do we have another staircase that I can go down? I mean, we got that, I guess I, I'll check that area out again, but... Uh, bottom one. Yep. I just realized I am a big idiot. Uh, first of all, Silver... Uh, Silver Wind. Razor Wind uh, is one of those attacks that does nothing on the first turn, then it hits on the second turn. It does like 75 power. That. That's why I'm an idiot. <laughs> now we gotta go over to the lift. Uh, like, yeah, that is that is the what moment that I was talking about. It was just like, it's just like, he's like, oh no, I dropped the lift key. Like, there's no... <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, uh, Razor Wind is a little bit, um, is a little bit, uh, weak, personally. It, it, it is it is a bit weak. It does like 75 power or something, doesn't it? 80 power. Like that's that's nice. But the problem is it it takes a fair bit of time. You can probably do better with other moves. Oh gosh, gotta work my way to the lift. Why they put the lift all the way up here? 
Oh, I guess because the guy at the top closed the door. Why don't they just have like a secret back way so that they don't have to go through these puzzles? Also, this puzzle would be greatly annoying if... Oh, my light's going out. Oh. This puzzle would be greatly annoying if there was like no... If the camera rotated or anything. It would mess up the angle, yeah, sure, but... Hey, it'll be neato. This guy, yeah, this guy. I hadn't fought him yet. Oh, I just realized I haven't... Oh, it's going to send out Bubba, isn't it? Because he's up front. Oh, no, 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 I sent out, um... Uh, Moopy. Moopy! Moopy! Use your rap! Listen up! It does, like, no damage. No, my rap! Oh, thank goodness. Ah! Ah! Moopy, you need another attack! But that's six levels away! Wow, this is gonna take forever for Moopy. This is honestly going to take forever for Moopy! This will take so much time. Thankfully, Moopy's like fast, but. Moopy, oh my goodness! Moopy! Moopy! My goodness. Well, if that didn't take long enough, he's got another Pokemon! Yay! By the way, did I say, uh, Dragon, uh, Dratini evolves at level 40? He evolves at level 30, so thankfully, like, he is actually one of the weaker Pokemon in the game, Dratini. Dragonair is a fair bit better. Dragon Knight, the max evolution, oh, goodness. So good, but, yeah, it takes a long time to get there. Um, so yeah, like Dratini, yeah, he's got like kind of poor stats right now. Dragonair, yeah. As soon as we get the Dragonite, then we're all set. Wow, it, it, it definitely feels good to be able to use Rap, seriously. This is why Rap is kind of overpowered. Because anyone can learn, well not anyone, but... Like, yeah. <laughs> You can't move, and if they're faster than you, they'll keep using it. I know it's weak, but you don't use PP on the secondary users. You only use it on the initial users. Why? Okay. Anyway, once you defeat him, then he opens the door. Uh-oh, that fight opened the door. What the? Okay. Uh, if we head down to the second floor... Actually, we were on the second floor. There is no third floor. So basically, you just fight the guy at the top, and then you can fight the guys on the bottom. Um, so yeah. How can you not see the beauty of our evil? Uh, because I lost my contacts. Yeah. <laughs> so he's got Atkins. <laughs> it's time to have a... a a uh, battle of the rap. Epic rap battle. This is the epic rap battle of history. Nothing else counts. Actually, it is going a bit, fair bit faster than normal, but it's, just, it's ridiculously slow. Oh, no! 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 Ah! No! Oh, he's, he's still using rap! No! 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 no. Why? Why does he do this to me? Yes! Yes! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. That... <laughs> Oh, it's a Sandshrew. Okay, Sandshrew. You know what this means? Uh, stuff, and I'm using Bubba. I don't care. He's so weak. By the way, Bubba's gonna be my backup guy for right now, because he's such high leveled. And yeah, yeah, all the Pokemon I wanted for my team, I can get before I fight the next gym. Uh, Arbok. Um, I don't trust 
Moopy. So speed V. Magic your do. Dude, Arbok is like pushing that sprite limit. Speed V, come on, I need you to level up as well. <laughs> Cause Tackle is very weak and you are thus dealing very low amounts of damage. I don't think this is going to work for Speed V. Does Speed V even learn like uh Thunder Thunder Um uh, Thunder Rap? Oh, I'm an idiot. Thunder Wave, sorry. I guess he does, yeah, level 40. That, that's a long time to learn Thunder Wave, let me tell you that. Did I say he learns Thunder Shock? No, he learns Quick Attack. But hey, it's a, it's a plus. Uh, you can also head down here. Hey, it's worthwhile. Iron, ooh, and iron is a good is a good item. I don't, I personally don't use them, but hey, they're kind of nice. Look away. I know you you ruined our plant plants at Mount Moon without the space. Okay, come on, show me your move. Sandshrew. This seems like a rap battle. Let's wrap this up. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Okay, this is gonna take forever. Moopy, can you just level up faster? I'm actually tempted to just put Moopy in the daycare. He's ridiculously weak. Or more so, I'm tempted to just like use all my rare candies on him. I have no pee. Thunder wave. It doesn't affect, no. Well, I can't really do anything now, am I? Can't I? Agility is a psychic type attack, by the way. It's Kind of interesting why that's. Yeah. Have I ever talked about Arbok? No. Arbok's the evolution of uh, Ekans uh, at level 22. Um, as I said, Ekans is uh, an exclusive to Pokemon Red. Uh, I personally don't like Arbok a lot, mainly because poison types are just very weak. Okay. Well, we know who's switching out. Well, Bubba's just gonna do all the damage. Beeper! Uh, so yeah. Uh, Vine Whip. <laughs> Cause I can! So yeah. Anyway, this guy... This guy has two more Pokemon. I use Vine Whip on a Pokemon that's not strong. Uh, well, I'd better use Tackle instead of Vine Whip, let me tell you that. And now we just got one more Pokemon to go. This is a Sand Slash! He's the evolution of a uh, Sand True. Sand Slash is actually really good. He's got some great attack, great defense, and, you know, he evolves at level 22. So, like, if you picked up a Sand True, which unfortunately is a blue exclusive, but if you picked up a Sand True, Sand Slash is a very good payoff. Um, I actually picked up a Sand True as well. Burned again! Well, I didn't use burn. Once you defeat both of these guys, the door opens, and... It's him! He did it, he stole the recipe. So, I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Anyway, boss battle time! It's, uh, Giovanni! He's the head of Rocket. He's got an onyx. Uh, this technically counts as a boss, so I know that this guy has Bind, Rage, Screech, and Rock Throw. Uh, I can't use Thunder Wave, can I? Oh, well, we're switching out to Bubba. I, I kept him out because I wanted the experience, but yeah. Personally, this Onyx is kind of strong. Rock Throw is a bit of a, a bit of a doozy. But then again, if you have if you have a good Grass type, this fight is no sweat. Trust me. So yeah, there goes Onyx. Uh, now he's got a Rhyhorn. He's actually got two new Pokemon. By the way, this Rhyhorn, it only knows Horn Attack. A bit of an interesting choice to have only one move. Then again, then again, my, uh, my, uh, Grabo has one move, so, yeah. Uh, Rhyhorn has very good HP, 
a very good attack and very good defense. His speed and special stats are a little bit low, but if you can get around that, and also he evolves at level 42, which is kind of high, to be honest. If it's above 40, it's pretty high up, I'll say. Um, but the payoff's really good. Rhyhorn is a very good rock type. In fact, I would, I would recommend Rhyhorn as well. Uh, if you can trade, go for Golem. Uh, Onyx is good for now, but I think Rhyhorn is better in the future. It's just, you can't catch a Rhyhorn right now. Uh, the other Pokemon he's got is a Kangaskhan, level 29, which is kind of, kind of a doozy. But Kangaskhan, even though it's brown, it's normal type, so don't worry. Uh, if you've got a fighting type Pokemon, actually, can you get a fighting type Pokemon by now? Oh, I guess you can get Mankey, but... Oh, he's using a guard spec. So that basically means that, uh, his... Uh, his evasiveness goes up, or I don't know. Point is, uh, Kangaskhan has some very good HP, but his special stats a little bit low. Uh, there's better normal types. I mean, as as odd as I'm saying, there's a lot of normal types that have extremely high HP. Chansey and Snorlax are probably the <laughs> probably the other two that do that. Child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. Whoa! He disappeared. And he left us the Sylph Scope, which is what we need. And there's a Super Potion right there. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So we got the Sylph Scope, and now we can head outside. I always wanted to do this. Oh, come on, I can I can never use Teleport! Do, so does Teleport only work inside of, um, caves? Because it doesn't seem to be working anywhere. Ah, <laughs> uh, well... Well, anyway, after you beat Giovanni, you can get the Sylph Scope, which will allow you to proceed onwards. Now, you may be wondering, what do you get at the top of all of that? Uh, you do need to go through Pokemon Tower. Now you do. And this is technically required, pr provided you don't do the Pokedoll glitch. This is, this is technically required. Uh, other than that, though, we've taken out all of the trainers in Pokemon Tower, so that means that we can rush through that, we can go up, and we can possibly even catch the final two poke, uh, party members on our team uh, next time. Next time. Anyway, I'll see you guys then. Do, 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 bum, 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 bum. Bum 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 b